Video 34 May 12, 2011 Sky Fox asks, Mithi, please let us know about the recent spacecraft activity around Earth. I am informed that many more alien spacecrafts are coming around our Earth, the last two days. What is happening? Why are more and more alien spacecrafts approaching? Last two days. UFO sightings are getting clearer and clearer in Earth's skies. Italy, Canada, Australia, UK, USA, Netherlands, Sweden. All in one day. Should we get ready for an alien disclosure very soon by themselves and not by our governments? Are all of you ready to be revealed to us? Sky Fox Really, after the operation that is being carried out by the community Galactica focused on this colony. Several races being anywhere between voluntary and curious, come here placing many ships and crews in service to the community. Several ships are following the comet as it approaches and are trying to participate in the action of the Pleiades in case it is needed. The Lunar Gateway is busier than ever. We have 16 spacecraft, the Pleiades, 37, Arcturians, 8 large ships. Aldebarans should total 20 ships, 18 reptilian ships that are in North America, 12 ships to rescue the Antarctic base. 17 ships which are from the Camelopardalis bases on Saturn plus some large ships from Sirius are close to your Sunday. The others are from neighboring solar systems here in your galaxy. This week, there must be more than 600 foreign spacecraft navigating your solar system. This activity should increase as the comet enters your system orbit. I believe that if something really catastrophic happens, there will be an aid in weight of at least 800 spacecraft, helping communities' survivors. It may be that there are accidents with your satellites and some other isolated event. It is very busy for a little planet. I'll keep you informed. Mithi, we have over 80 questions focused on the tectonic movements and an increase in the planet's volcanic activity. Are there any predictions? Friends, the volcanic activity from this destabilization in the solar system will increase exponentially. Try to stay away from the volcanic areas if you can. The Pacific Ring of Fire is literally dropping. The trend will be a great volcanic activity around the perimeter, Japan, New Zealand, and the west coast of North America. Europe as a landmass is being pressed lower by the fault line of the Atlantic and the opening of the great fault lines of the North Pole. The largest sequence of events is about to start any time. The magnetic field is getting weaker, and there are field failures in several regions. The bombardment of cosmic energy that was not previously detected, now is being felt in great intensity. No matter what region of the planet you are, avoid exposure to prolonged sunlight. Radiations are not yet classified by your scientists, which can greatly decrease the response to nerve stimulation. These secondary beams of energy were never present on a large scale before due to the protection of your magnetic field. Just to reinforce the idea to you, the planet's magnetic field will pass through zero before reversing. Shade will be the only safe place to stay healthy. Major storms and torrents will occur, caused by these bombardments of cosmic radiation which has intensified in your unprotected atmosphere. The aluminum oxide dispersed in regions of the planet by aerial spraying is helping those energies to focus on certain layers. 
and it completely destabilizes the climate in these regions. The large accumulation of clouds and storms prevent the approach of celestial bodies monitored by your population and amateur astronomers. And this is a criminal attempt to conceal the events. Mithi, you answered a question regarding the possibility of spiritual visitation from a deceased relative. This was an acquaintance of the person asking the question. You said to consider the humanoid soul as an air bubble racing to reach the water's surface. Our souls would have no need to return to this plane of existence. Then I guess it would follow, that all the ghost hunting spectral images on film and EVPs are products of overactive minds? See, no one actually being there is a common situation, but when many brains are fixated on something that they really believe exists, they can, based on the condition of quantum energy applied which materializes in the form of tenuous plasmic smoke silhouettes of figures, objects, or people. The molecules of vapor or dust in the environment can be grouped by the mental strength as expected, and after some time dissipates. In some doctrines that strong condensation is called ectoplasm. Boris asks, you say we have no need to fear Nibiru and its consequences, 10% living, because we will all reincarnate here, or other places, and continue our growth. Why then do you try to help us by diverting comets, or destroying them? If we all reincarnate, it does not matter how many are dead or living after the 2012 process. Right? Boris, if 10% will continue, this means that there must be a society to maintain between 600 and 700 million people. Born and dying, balancing the relationship between planet inhabitants. Many people would have to survive to receive those who had discarnated in the correct frequency and are to be reborn on New Earth. This cycle has to be maintained, depending on future technologies deployed. The planet may once again hold 10 billion people without ecological impact. The estimate of diverting Nibiru or not, changing the history of events, will weigh on the responsibility of the community Galactica and its scientists. Always thinking about the future balance of the new colony. Ghost Ehring asks. Every day I see the same master numbers such as 33, 44, 55, 22, 11. Sometimes even with three digits such as 444, 333, 555, 666. Why and what are the real-life implications of this experience? A teacher once mentioned that some people are more sensitive to the subliminal messages of some kind. But I am wondering if this kind of message is given to specific types of people with some intention? See, Ghost Erring, the numbering system is subliminal to all races. No matter the race or origin. Whether humanoid or otherwise, including insect descendants. All star gates are based on sets of equal numbers by region of operation. A portal for the long route numbered 3333 communicates with any portal 3333 in any galaxy. The solar system's regional portals are numbered 333 or 444 etc. The portal 333 of a solar system is attuned to all the portals 333 installed in their specific galaxy. Due to the movement of ships, a large solar system with hundreds of planets has four to six channels of portals. 
your system has no regional portal as it does not yet have any community requiring their use. Your solar system has an intergalactic gateway, installed by the community Galactica on your moon. To enable the creation of this new humanoid colony, allowing civilizations from other galaxies to assist in creating this colony. One day the Earth will order a regional portal in the solar system, when you start your activities off the planet. The 1111 portal is specific to the fourth dimension anywhere in the universe, a totally different kind of portal, a portal of souls. It represents the passing back and forth between the two dimensions. I think you seeing the coincidence of these sequences of numbers is somehow linked to the sensitivity. To feel the frequency of operation of local portals. Local portals are short range, generated by motherships for regional operations and can be felt by sensitive individuals. Many local portals are opened for brief periods of time on your planet daily. Spacecraft arriving at the perimeter tune into the portals of the Antarctic base. For the movement of its support spaceships every day. The ten local transport channels are always on and available to anyone who arrives at the planet. Rico asks. Are there humans walking on Earth right now who are having visions or deja vu experiences that come true? And some are said to have 12 strand DNA only that it is dormant in their bodies just waiting to be activated? Rico, the activation of parts of your DNA is often inherent to the environment where you live. In the current frequency zero of the planet, it is impossible to have greater activation of brain stimulation and subsequent gestation of new beings with more functional DNA. This is an evolution that your race will pass on in this new stage level 1 of development. Some people circle around the planet with more insight than others as a result of hybridization. The Pleiades for a long time have been doing this type of experiment to evaluate the results of its future development. They choose a particular residence in which they already know the will of the couple is to have a son. They set up a field of frequency which involves the house the whole time that the mother is generating the child. Simulating locally the field of frequency of the planet itself. From this pregnancy will be born a child who you call Indigo. That is, with a more complete activation of the DNA in its formation. From the new frequency of the planet you will have a very special new generation. Smiel asks, I would like to ask if you know the real effects and benefits of the cannabis plant. Smiel. I think I know what you're talking about. Plants that contain some kind of alkali are used as natural relaxants, including in our colonies. We use them in the form of teas. Here you usually smoke these dried plants, but the tea would have the same effect. Any chemical element when used to excess, even though natural, can become a problem. The indiscriminate use of relaxing alkaloids can cause inattention and accidents. Flowers and plants with certain alkaloids being used responsibly can be of great value to combat stress and anxiety. Kadama asks, I would like to know about another mystery sound that was reported on May 10, 11. The sound that people had described hearing was similar to a sonic boom. This boom noise was heard over a huge region in Virginia. One man reported that even his hot tub moved over six inches from its original location. Scientists have no clue what the noise was from. NASA said it was a possible meteorite. 
I don't believe the NASA report. Can you tell me if this was the Arcturians or a different group of aliens? Did the aliens install another research base? If so, how many? Research Bases do they need? Is there yet another reason for such alien activities? Are sounds such as this type going to become more frequent from now on? Katama, like I said, there was a submarine base installed in the region, and the tubular spaceships of Arcturians are somewhat noisy, both when they are static floating and when pulling out of the atmosphere. At the base in the middle of the Atlantic, it makes no difference. But close to urban areas they will wake up many residents during the nights of operation. That base should not stay there long. The region will become destabilized soon. Arcturian race, well, this fat sympathetic guy was the closest I could get an illustration of Arcturian's races. There are several muzzle size variations depending on the strain of the colony, but this is really a lot like one of them. This is an assembly using an old ancestor of their race, they also emit sounds. But communicate telepathically with no problems and they are good humored, too. After millions of years of development they are actually humanoid mammalian warm-blooded like us much more advanced of course. CB they have arms and legs. The skeleton of them developed from earlier species to our dolphins. Our dolphins never left the water so developed otherwise. As you can see races matrices had four members and five fingers on each. <laughs>